Hey everybody, it's Paul Gorman. Uh, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Hope you subscribe. There's a lot of goodies in the vault on YouTube. So uh, today though, I just wanted to mention that the Masters of the Game website is up and we put together the best players of the past, the legends, the iconic Ben Hogan in his silky, fast, beautiful swing. Uh, the charismatic Lee Trevino is in there and he's probably given more lessons than I have, okay? Because he loves to talk and he was obviously an awesome champion of majors and just a great golf swing. You want compression and smash that ball? Talk to Lee. So um, other of the legends as well, now Tiger is one of them and he'll be in there. Uh, as well as I'm posting up the, the systems of the game. So some of you out there, you know, you've heard of Five Lessons book, but you don't know what it is as Ben Hogan's book. I'm gonna go chapter by chapter, do videos on it and explain it to you. So you're gonna have an idea of like what this book's about and you'll be able to go to the range after watching these videos and give it a shot and see, see if it helps. I mean, it's all about research and, and giving, a, giving it a try, right? So we've got a, a Stack and Tilt, and the golf machine and Morad, Mac O'Grady uh, designed Morad out of the Golf Machine book, and that's where Stack and Tilt came from. If you don't know what those are, those are alignment-based systems uh, that are tried and true. You see us on talking about swing planes down at the bottom uh, where the ball is usually on the target line there. Those are all derived out of the Golf Machine book, and um, if you have an experience with that is, I'll have videos in those uh, modules, so you'll be able to get in and kind of understand what these things are. If you've been wondering or you haven't found the secret, we're going to have it in this one website, paulgormangolf.com. So can't wait to have you there. Today, um, I just wanted to talk to you about ground force or using the ground. Okay, you see I have these sticks down here and weight shift, you know, things we talk about, right? So what what is it? How does it work? Uh, you know, the, the big deal is, is one of the big deals is the transition, right? That transition is from the top here. How, what do I start with? Do I start with rotation? Do I start with a shift to the left or to the target? And when you're doing the rotation, as soon as I start rotating, my center of gravity really is just staying still. It's not moving with inertia or force that way to the target, you know? So there has to be some linear action, right? Rotational action for sure also, and also some extension, some torque. So I've got about all those in there, but today I wanted to just talk about what I have these sticks down here for, which is how to use the ground and what it should look like. All right, here's our legend, Mac O'Grady. Listen to this. Play that one more time because it was explosive. Right, so I got his head there. Uh, he's over the ball. Looks like his left eye is on the golf ball, okay? Now we're talking about that pivot going to the left, the, the shifting, right? So his head has not moved yet. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Now it's starting to tilt. Okay, so it's starting to move down and to the left of the ball. So that's the direction his head's going. How could that be happening? Because his left knee is flexing more. His left ankle and left hip are all flexing down. And that's what's driving uh, this weight shift over there, that free falling I was talking about. Beautiful, right? Okay, now which direction does his head go? Okay. He's down there at P5, just about. Which way does it go? Straight up an elevator. Look at that. So he's, he's at, you know, P5 there. It's coming down to P6. And now he's just going into pure extension. He's leaning on that left leg. Look at that kneecap is. That knee is outside of his ankle there. Watch. At P6. But the head now is just up, 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 up. Release the hands. Beautiful extension out. So not keeping the head still if you want to compress and smash balls. So the orange stick is going to be for the center of my pants here between my feet. I'll roll it a little bit. Good. And then the, the stick on the left is just at the inside of my left ankle there. Okay. Now what you'll see with a lot of great players as they come down, or I should say in that transition, you're going to see a squatting look, a knee bending look like this. And when that's happening, there really isn't much rotation going on, okay? It's more like you're floating off this back leg and transferring this way. So 
It would be, you know, because we've all seen the look of, of this master look that we want, right? With the left shoulder down, this left knee flexed. You must have some foot flare, okay? So it needs to be about 15, 20 there, and about five or 10 on the right side. That way that left knee can take the absorption. Left knee, left hip, left ankle are all flexing. So you get up here, let gravity kind of free fall, counter fall this way, and that's the genesis of getting those angles with your shoulders. Typically, what happens from the top? People get here and they start to unwind. And if you notice, if I just unwind, I'll turn around and show you my back belt loop here. If I just get to the back here, right, I'm coiling around. And if I just unwind, you can see how this is going back to my right leg. So I'm actually moving backwards. And that's, uh, and that's not how you use the ground, okay? So the idea is that you're going to push off the ground this way, right? And when you get pressure over the left foot, now you can push the other way. You can push up. So one is drifting forward, feeling the pressure back on the inside of my right uh, ankle, kind of the heel there. I can feel pressure there as I'm falling this way. It's going to the ball of the foot over here. And now, now it's time to come up and unwind. And so those are the components that are going to help you get compression on the golf ball. Now, why, why did I say that? Why is that important? Well, check it out. Orange stick, club, hands. Okay. Hands are a little in front of the stick, not much. Impact. Right? If I go to impact, what am I doing? I'm unwinding my hips a slight bit, and I push my hips over a couple, three inches. So when you look at Hogan's Five Lessons book, you're going to see the uh, zipper right over the inside of the left ankle. I used to take a lot of practice uh, just hitting divots by my left ankle or in line with my left ankle. So I would just practice and go boom. I would make sure that I was over here as I was hitting the ground. So you think about the, the divot being right off that inside of the heel there. That's how you get shaft lean, right? take the divot there, end up falling through. So really important for you to get compression, you have to have the leaning of the shaft, okay? Now you're not gonna get that if your tailbone is swirling back towards the right heel here, you're gonna end up casting and throwing the club out to the ball because you're moving away from the ball. So you always wanna feel like you're in a free falling to the left, that falling this way, you can see that athletic kind of squat down look here and then you can start to push up because I've got pressure on this leg that I can push up when I'm back here I can't push off because I don't have any weight over there so again this is all about the transition today and really kind of how to explore a little bit I'm not I'm not fan really of too centered in the backswing. I like to have a little flow, um, you know, but you see the tour players out there, they look centered because they look so smooth, right? They just don't look like they're moving around much. But you watch a guy like Victor Hovland, right? Who is, uh, I mean, he's just like, he's doing a lot of torso movement, a lot of torso rotation and sway, you know? It's really, when you watch it, it's really a body move holding a club, okay? So he's definitely not one that's sitting here going like this, all right? So I'm just trying to say moving with the ground athletically. So if I'm going to throw a ball, I'm back sitting here like this playing tag football. I'm looking around, and then I, you know, I'm moving, right? As a matter of fact, Lee Trevino never stopped moving. 